So I want to switch gears a bit and talk about non-traditional students. There's, mm -hmm. There has been a lot of talk recently just surrounding higher education about the increase in non-traditional students coming to universities. So does your office make the distinction between traditional and non-traditional students when you're providing services? Um, y yes and no. Um, it really depends on their on the situation. For instance, there are certainly unique needs that our veteran students have, um, and a lot of those students are non-traditional students. Matt Hamilton, who's the vice president over admissions records and financial aid, coordinates our veteran services on campuses. So we might direct people, um, graduate students. We've got opportunities through Graduate Student Senate and Graduate Student Life, which is based out of the uh, Graduate College, Dr. Lee Williams. Um, has a great program there that works with um, graduate students, non-traditional students there. Um, everything from a happy hour at the university club to different support services. But really I would say the cornerstone of our non-traditional student uh, programs at the University of Oklahoma is run out of our College of Continuing Education. That's our College of Liberal Studies, which caters to the non-traditional working student, um, providing um, access to a quality University of Oklahoma education. Uh, through online courses, weekend courses, and whatnot. 